Yo, what's up guys, my name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to a Son Assassin suit only of Dubai. This is the first official Hitman 3 video on the channel. And I just want, before we get into the video, I just want to uh, say thank you to Square Enix for giving me a free early access copy to Hitman 3. I really do appreciate it. So for this particular video, we're going to use the basic equipment. You're obviously going to have to play this game at least one mission once just to skip that opening intro. And then you first get to the atrium lobby, that's the start location we're going to use, so we can use our equipment. And for this, we're going to need the standard pistol, the coin, and a fiber wire, because you're not going to need anything else for now. So, when you spawn here, you are actually going to be spawning quite far away from where you need to be. So you're going to need to do this in basically a lot of runs, for basically for the challenges anyway. Uh, first of all, we need to go and plant a gun, that's what we're going to do. So we need to knock out a guard, go and get a weapon, and plant a gun to uh, stop the target's guard. So it will be Marcus Stuyvesant. He's going to uh, be wandering around here. First of all, he's going to be in the security room. And he's going to be in there for about um, a minute or so. So we're going to pass through here. We're now in a trespassing zone. So just press your body against this wall right here. This guard in front of us is going to be walking around here momentarily. So we just want to make sure we spam that subdue button so we can drag him around a corner of this and subdue him really quickly. Quickly grab, grab his uh, pistol from the floor and then open this door and just drop the gun around here. Close the door behind you and then drag his body all the way down the end of the corridor. And there's going to be a locker to your left. You want to go ahead and put the body in there. At this point in time, Stuyvesant has just come out of the security room. He's just seen the weapon on the floor. He's now going to instruct his guard to go and pick that up and take it away. And that will give us a, a perfect chance to actually get Stuyvesant right now with the fiber wire. So go ahead and go take him out after you close the door. If you have the elevator doors open, go ahead and drop him down the elevator shaft. But if you haven't got the elevator doors open yet, go ahead and drag his body all the way down the end of the corridor and stick his body in the locker as well. Once you've done that, we need to go to Carl Ingram. So, we need to pass through these doors, but just watch out for where the guard's placement is. Wait for them to walk away like this, so they split and then cross the hall and up the stairs. Just make sure the guard doesn't see you when he turns around the corner. As you come up the stairs, there's going to be two tech guys, so you just want to make sure they don't see you. Crouch behind these boxes right here, and then edge along the cross. Grab the crowbar, leap over this. Now we just need to wait for the guard up here on the right to move, so once he's moved, he can go up and uh, take him out, if you want to. And then go ahead and shoot this camera. Equip the crowbar, go and knock this guy out. Because he's gonna... We need to come back through here, so... It's best to get rid of him right now. So we can break open this door now with the crowbar. We don't have the keycard right now. The, the keycard is actually belonging to a guard down the end of the corridor, so... We don't need it for now, especially when we have the crowbar. But once we're up here... We're gonna pass into this kitchen. Equip the crowbar again. Knock out this guy right here. Grab the rat poison. Start this conversation in the kitchen just to get things moving and while that's happening we're just going to pick up the stuff that he drops on the floor and then drag his body into the crate here so you are unlocking a couple of challenges here as well because some of the challenges are like well, pick up this key pick up this stuff pick up that so you are checking off some of these uh, off st the stuff as well in terms of challenges and stuff but yeah we need to basically just wait for this conversation to finish it is quite a long one there's two ways of actually doing this. After this conversation's finished, he, the chef will walk over to the right towards the cooker. And what you could do is prepare it yourself, which is what I'm going to do in this video. Or you can use the egg timer, speed up time, and let the chef prepare it himself. But either way, it's completely up to you. Uh, what we're essentially doing is poisoning the plate of food, uh, just so the target gets sick. And he will come into this area over here, and that's where we're going to take him out and isolate him. He does have two bodyguards with him, though, so we're going to have to take care of those. So the target's all over there, there, over there right now, and he won't come until you ring that bell that's on the front. That's right next to the egg timer. So now the chef's moving out the way, we're going to go over to the plate of food really quickly, prepare it. And as soon as you've done that, hide, because the chef is going to turn around momentarily. He's going to take a drink out of his bo wa uh, water bottle, and while he's doing that, we can go ahead and uh, poison his plate of food. If you have lethal poison unlocked, uh, which assuming a lot of people don't have yet, you can go ahead and use that if you want to. But we're going to use that bell there to call the target down. 
He is going to come down with his bodyguards. He's going to pass through this room. And he's going to take the plate of food himself. Now, if the chef prepared it, he will take it over. But um, because 47 prepared it, he the target actually comes through his room and the target grabs the plate of food himself. I'm assuming uh, the devs did that because just in case the chef got knocked out or you're talking about or whatever. Which you totally can do if you want to. But we needed the extra storage in that freezer there. So once they come through here, we're just going to hide into this little small bathroom right here. Just so we don't get spotted. And we just need to be patient for this bit. So both guards will enter that room, but stay in here for now. One guard is going to come back in this room. So we'll leave once they exit. And just press your body against this box of crates right here. Go along to the left. And as soon as he comes near you, go ahead and subdue him. If you don't want to do that, just go around, go around the boxes and then subdue him from behind. Because he's going to stand next to that door. That's where he ultimately is going to be. So we're just going to dump his body in the crate there. And the target's actually going to sit down now to eat some food. So again, we're just going to wait here momentarily. And once he's poisoned, he's going to come back through this room and go into that bathroom we waited there previously. The guard is going to follow him as well. So he just needs to watch out for him. And we actually do need to knock him out beforehand. Otherwise, obviously, we can't get into the bathroom. Because he stands outside the bathroom... Apologise if you can hear my dog. He always does this when I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> Alright. So he, now he's gone past. We're just going to equip the crowbar. And then go ahead and knock him out. You can leave his body there because no one else comes through this section. And then you can go ahead and drown the target. So you can actually take out another one of these challenges of... Um, I can't remember what it's called now, but there's a challenge that involves drowning one of the targets. So. There we go. Hold my hair. There you go. Thanks for the pop-up. No right. So now we're going to head to the exit. We're done with this. There's another challenge popped off as well. Someone could hurt themselves, which is an accident kill. So we've got two birds, one stone there. Now, if you have the elevator doors open, you see that little padlock at the end of the corridor. If the elevator doors are open for you, you can go ahead and uh, exit that way. But if not, you just have to come back and retrace your steps. Just watch out for the tech guys over here. They don't spot you. I'm down these stairs again. We're just going to wait for the guard to move. Come on. Just have to make sure, make sure we time this right. See, these shortcuts in this game are a really... Uh, or a godsend, really, because if you are, if they are open, they do... I mean, we could, be, we could have exited the mission by now if we had the elevator doors open, but because we don't, we have to go and retrace our steps, just like we're doing right now. Like I said, there's an elevator door right there we could have taken as well. But, um, you know, if you don't have these shortcuts open, which I highly recommend you doing um, before you do any of these challenges, because it just makes it a lot easier for you. Oh, yeah, I need to go down these stairs. I'm still getting familiarized with the map. But uh, I'm slowly but surely starting to learn everything. But, yeah, I do highly recommend opening up all the shortcuts. And if you do need a guide on all the shortcuts, just let me know in the comments. I will be sure to record all those. I think there's six on this map, including ladders, elevators and stuff like that. There's also a shortcut right at the start, so if you come down here, just to your left, there's going to be like a security door. It's only unlocked from the other side. So you have to make your way around there, then you can open that for future playthroughs, and they're always open after that. So when you replay this mission, those elevator doors and these locked doors are always going to be open from then on out. So you only have to do these once, because they're related to challenges. But that's essentially it for Dubai. Um, it's fairly straightforward. I don't really see how you can mess this up really that much. I think I'm pretty pretty pleased with this one. Um, the only thing, or the only way I'll probably make this a little bit better is if I had a lethal syringe, I could syringe the target at the, at the start. And I could use lethal poison on the second target. That's if I had those items unlocked, which I don't at the moment. But for the silent assassin certainly runs, I'm always only going to use the default stuff anyway. So... You don't have to worry about equipment rise because everyone's going to have the stuff up be able to show. 
So that's going to do it for the Dubai mission. So hopefully you've enjoyed that little uh, first video of mine on the channel. I really do appreciate all the support I've had recently. It's, it's been crazy. Again, a shout out to Square Enix for the free early copy of Hitman 3. I really appreciate that. And a shout out to all my Patreons as well and all the Psycho Assassin members of the channel. If you want to become a Patreon, the link is in the description. If you want to become a member, just click the join button below. Yeah, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, there's a playlist in the description of all of the uh, Silent Assassin suit onlys of Hitman 3. And I'll see you guys in the next video in Dartmoor. Cheers.